Hi, I'm Oliver Sharp, and I'm in Virginia Beach for AUVSI and ONR's second International Autonomous Surface Vehicle Competition. That is quite a mouthful, but that's because there's a ton going on in the tents right behind me. It's day one of competition. Let's go see what's going on. Joined now by Leslie Hinton, the special events manager for AUVSI in the Queen Bee here this weekend at the competition. How are you today? I'm great, thanks. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about AUVSI? Just give us a quick uh, history of the organization. Definitely. AUVSI is over 30 years old and it's an organization that's dedicated to advancing the unmanned systems. Um, we stand, it stands for uh, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, which means we have international corporate and individual members that represent academia, corporations, the military, government, um, from basically all spectrums of the unmanned systems industry. And excellent. this weekend we're actually here with a bunch of college teams. Uh, what's going on here behind us? Well, it's really exciting. This is actually the second year for the Autonomous Surface Vehicle Competition. Um, AVSI has been actually hosting competitions for the last 12 years. However, it's been underwater instead of on top of the water. So this year we have eight teams competing in a number of different obstacles on the course behind us. All right, I'm joined now by Felix Pajot, the technical director for the ASV competition. Felix, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. And uh, it's been an exciting day, day one of competition here. Uh, what kind of things are the teams doing here today on day one? Uh, today the teams are still finishing up their vehicle. They're trying to find all the bugs that are left. So they're testing all the basic function of their vehicle, trying to figure out what could be improved so that tomorrow during their qualification, they're gonna be able to get the maximum run of points and hopefully make it into finals. We started the competition here today. It's a little quiet. Uh, what exactly were the teams going through today? Uh, today they were just uh, getting oriented and then they started their static judging, which is where the judges go forward and look at um, essentially the technical merit of the design, the design choices they made, any innovative things in their design that really stand out against the competition, and uh, looking for a balanced design against all the variables, including cost, weight, and then the performance in each event. Seeing a little bit of the course uh, behind us here on the pond, what do you foresee being the toughest challenge out there? Well, right now it's always tough to get through the starting gate and go straight because they're mostly dead reckoning. And then the docking station on the right here will be a very tough one because it requires multiple uh, visual, GPS, and close coordination with a secondary object. Any predictions for tomorrow? Do you think we're going to see somebody uh, fully complete the course? Is everybody going to do it? What, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? I think you're going to see a wide variety, but I'm very hopeful that a couple teams will complete the whole course. That's going to do it here in Virginia Beach for day one of competition at AUVSI and ONR's second international autonomous surface vehicle competition. Make sure you join us tomorrow as qualifications get underway.